628 Dirt Rooster, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Ha <laughs> ha, get the stings. And I didn't feel it get it, get me. How'd you get a stinger already? I have no freaking clue. We just got here. You know how it went from there. That's how you said hello. We're starting on removal for a property that's had bees three times now. This is the first time we've seen it though. And they want to keep them this time. They're on the other side of the house under there. We're going to remove them and house them in here for them. They were here once. And over in that corner once. And now they're in this corner. So she asked me, what can she do to keep them from coming back? And my answer was, don't use expanding foam. Here's what they've done with the expanding foam. They've gutted it, chewed it out like it's nothing. They've cleared that whole edge out. And so I recommended using quarter round. One by two trim or quarter round all the way around it. And a bead of silicone behind that. That should take care of the problem. But expanding foam, as you can see, will not cut the mustard. about to move these girls out into a new home. No vac going to be used on this one. We're going to cut comb and frame it and probably mount the hive outside this lattice somehow where they're coming and going. Make them move to the box, possibly working on the ground. It's only um, seven and a half foot up maybe. And then we're going to relocate them to a spot over there somewhere. See him literally eating on it. Yeah, you can hear him eating on it. What is that? I don't know. You see what I'm looking at? Yeah. It's a wig. It almost looks like Spanish moss. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It might be old dried up moss. One piece, Pete. One piece. <laughs> Why I'm working the edge. <laughs> working the edge. Yeah, I just had to replace the sheet of plywood on that one we did the other day. Which one? Connie Rocco's house. No, we didn't do that. You did that. You yeah. forgot me. No, I didn't forget. I left you at home on purpose. <laughs> that just hurts my feelings now. <laughs> I'd rather just think you're absent-minded instead of just mean. <laughs> yeah. We're just just now getting in. I'm having to talk over the Steely Dan music so we don't get gigged for copyright infringement. <laughs> we can... Hold up, Pete. We gotta figure out if we're in the right space. You just put screen on and stop the mud dogs from collecting, but there's nothing up here for them. And it's flat, so it has to be here. I didn't look at the other side. I just saw them going that way. They ain't nowhere to go. They ain't nowhere for them to go. They have to be here. Yeah, they got to be right here. I'm seeing comb right here. And coming back this way. Yeah, we're we're good. We're good. Keep rolling. Keep rocking. <laughs> we're in this first first joist space. You can see the nails right here. That's approximately 14 inches, I'd say. Say squirrel. Squirrel. Never possibly something I don't want to see. That's how you cut a nail. <laughs> yeah, they're aggravated now. Corn. 
hard because it's coming out. <laughs> <Barely. laughs> when I was holding it, barely holding it. Go ahead and drop it. And I don't want to crush them to the, to the nest. You do get crap on you. There it goes. It released. It's not holding nothing. I got it. I got the more. I was going to get that skeleton. They're, they're aggravated, so. All right, I got this straight. I'm going straight outside with this. Get it right. out of my way. You got a bunch of aggravated bees on it. Uh, I think it was a rat. Do what? I think it was a rat. <laughs> <laughs> his skull and stuff is still in there, but his lower half is waxed over. It's propolized. Yep. You got in the wrong hole. Well, let's go see what we destroyed. Greg, right, I got a ton of rats, bro. This is not good. <laughs> So not good. <sighs> they're still, oh, they're still banging me. Smoker. I'm rife with alarm pheromones, so I'm gonna get out of here for a minute. Yeah, cause they're not buzzing me, and they're hitting you way over there. Want me to go. Now I'm gonna go wash my face off, wash my head off. I walk out here while I get them to leave me alone. Take a quick walk out here and show you where we are. We're right on a brackish water marsh. Uh, river inlet coming into the Gulf. If you don't know what brackish water is, most of you probably won't. It's where the fresh water meets salt water. The bees love it. Where are you going with that? You making a ghillie suit? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to hide from the bees. Yes, a Cajun grab moss, surprisingly. Oh, Louisiana Pete. <laughs> Pete's from Louisiana. And he reverted back to his roots. <laughs> no, I, took a... I reverted back to my moss. <laughs> took a tip from Polk Salad Annie's playbook. <laughs> <laughs> Using Spanish moss to smoke the bees. It works pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good flow. <laughs> oh, is it starting to rain? <laughs> it's starting to rain on us. Thankfully, we're working under a house. We had to take a break. We got to take a break because I forgot rubber bands. So we had to run to Wally World, get rubber bands. <laughs> But on the way out, we figured out where these bees are coming from. Back way back there. Yeah, there's somebody back there. It's got looks like a dozen triple stacks, and then right over here, where all the horses are. Yeah, it'd be hard to see where those horses are. It looks like there's probably 20 singles or doubles, or some of it's doubles at least. <laughs> now we know where the bees are coming from. Gonna go back and get busy on these things. We'll be here until dark. It's 454 now. Sunsets at what right at eight maybe? Yeah. Alright, we're back from my trip to Walmart. They've been open for a good hour and a half now. They've had a little time to calm down. The alarm pheromone should be gone out of my hair, hopefully. They're not attacking me like they were, so I think we're good. We're gonna try to do this without the vac. In the end, there's a lot of bees here. Could be a pain in the butt, but we're gonna try it without the vac. So this is the rubber bands we went for. The uh, number 64s is what I normally use. 32s and 33s are the same length. They're just skinnier. These all work well. Right now I'm smoking them all off of this end. 
this is all these three frames are all honey and these ends are all honey I gotta get that out of my way first it's gonna get messy to begin with but we can't start on the other end so right here is where we start Now right now I'm just going by the best I can tell where the honey stops. And I can't really tell just yet, but I'm gonna dive into this first comb right here. There goes some thunder. We're in out of the weather though. We should be okay here. Unless it starts blowing sideways, yeah. <laughs> we could still get drenched. I'm gonna get drenched with honey any, any way it goes because it's already raining on me. Oh, <clears throat> oh boy, look at that solid piece of comb honey. Golly. This thing is loaded up. Damn, I smell it. I already know it tastes like just by the smell. Oh, that's good. Not as I put a fresh battery in my good flashlight. Huh? Light switch lights these up. That's good. This is getting dark in general in here. Yeah. That weather's moving in on us. And if you want me to grab a flashlight and have it stand by for you to see in there or what? It's in the driver's door of the truck. Black sheath. Okay, because there's like three of them in the passenger door. Now that my good one's in the driver's door. <laughs> One's in the passenger door, good too. You just can't adjust the strength on them. All right, you ready for a brood comb? You got your boss? <laughs> <laughs> Man. These bees piled up for days. I wonder if I should get some rubber gloves just to play with that because it's smooth. Nah, you'll be alright. That's really fun. You're not leaving much to play with, are you? Nah, you want to put this against that side. And then you can wedge another piece. You can do it on top of the box over there. Careful snapping rubber bands on when it pisses them off. <laughs> well, they just gotta be patient with me. It's my first time. I want this piece standing though. No, you have to wedge another piece under it. I hate that strap. <laughs> me too. Well, I know the, the one where we did the angled house and the lawyer's house. I found the strap in the yard. <laughs> I checked my hat. Mine was still in it, so it told me you yanked yours out. <laughs> no. I, I picked it up and threw it in the back of the truck because it was just in the yard. Not me. Probably see how bad we're getting rained on with honey here. You want to you hear a funny story? Me and Pete did a removal. When was the last one we got rained on real bad? Honey. Rained on with honey. Oh. That was that skinny one at the lawyer's house. That's right. Last time we got rained on real bad with honey, these shoes got saturated with honey and I haven't washed them since and they fermented. <laughs> Whole new smell to a foot. Can you smell them yet? <laughs> I'm a good distance away. 
and, you're, and, you're, and you're upwind with the fan going. I'm about to have to chunk these shoes or wash them in vinegar or something. Honey, is any any phone going? It might help you play. Yeah, but it's it's not anti. Uh, Funk. <laughs> it's not anti fermentation. <laughs> Can't say I haven't tasted. I haven't bitten into the comb yet, but I know exactly what it tastes like because it's been raining down and running through my mask, through my veil. Look at the combs coming out of this thing. Nice, honey. That, by the way, is water from the wash bucket. It's not sweat, so these people are not getting my sweat in there, honey. <laughs> Other than that, I'm dry. Sweet, honey. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to use my bare hands on these because they're, I'm barehanded removing them, but they're really being irritable. And I'm trying to move these onto some brood that we just transferred to the box. So there's about a, a I don't know, a couple thousand bees. We're going to try to start working them to the brood. We still got a couple hours till the dark. So there's a good chance a lot of those will leave and come right back to this. It's so dark right here now because of the weather. Not because it's that late in the day. One belly sting. Here's where it gets a little complicated they're tight in there and you got to work one side so you got to figure out which side you want you can see the bees piled up this post and stud are in my way to work this side all the way back and i think i'm gonna start working the outside first try to work them inbound inboard inbound something just real tight quarters packed combs a lot of honey a lot of brood a lot of bees Trying to move them manually to this box. And they're not running off of it, which is a good thing. This weather's gonna help us get them on the box a little easier. I need to get you to narrate. <laughs> nah. This is where this jack leg gets stung up in the face. <laughs> he takes a quick peek and bam, right in the cheek. Yeah, I got this veil laying right against my nose. I'm hoping I don't get one in the nose. Oh, you didn't see what I did? No. I pushed this out. That's what's holding it off my face. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it may look like a goofy little ponytail. Your, go your goatee ponytail is protecting your face? It sure is, because I stuck it out to make it hold the veil off of me. I'm thinking this one on his outboard side. It's probably going to be a lot of honey. Honeycomb in the face. There's a nail. They made it easy. Everybody would be doing this. Yeah. Not just crazy people. Yeah, if it was easy, everybody. It's definitely not easy. I'm trying not to snag my knuckles on that nail that's sticking down. Where's the hammer at, by the way? As the dirt used to sneak in on the unexpected bees. <laughs> Like a lion on the Serengeti. <laughs> this is the dirt rooster's natural habitat. <laughs> oh man, just nails everywhere. I 
might have to start on the ins inside on this one. Might need to tell the bees. <laughs> I know it. Just lay in the, on the tailgater in the bed of the truck. The bees will clean that out more. Oh, that's thicker and better than the first one I tasted. Really? Yes. I had to stab into the cap cone where there was no fiberglass and give it a taste. <laughs> I yeah, had. That's pretty good. It's a little sweeter and thicker. Man. So, yeah, you wasted some good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that piece that fell landed right in a pile of fiberglass. Had to go in the trash bucket. Now with the rain coming in, they return to the nest most of the time, don't they? Uh, some. They still fly. Asking you goofy question, but there's just things I don't know, and there's things that no, us they that's, don't know either. That's not goofy questions. This son of a biscuit eater. They're liking that belly meat today. They are. <laughs> it's like a pork round. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so you call yourself pork belly. All right, I'll go with that. That's your heck with dirt rooster. We got pork belly. Pork <laughs> belly. <laughs> yeah. Stinging me right in my pork belly. Nails it. Oh, I was hitting a strap. Hurricane strap? Yeah. This, this house is well strapped. Enough metal that the lightning's making me nervous. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get some more bees off of the. Good old fashioned mice bed. Do what? Good old fashioned mice bed. That's a Spanish moss bed. They, they carry rice. Oh, yeah, I know. But that's what they used to make the bed out of in, in the colonial days yeah. down here. Do you want to grab some, some more moss before it all gets wet? Saved it. Nice second. Whoo, got lucky. Got one whole piece out right down the center. That's gonna make things a lot easier, but we still got a lot of bees in here. We've got a pretty good amount of them on the box. So man, there's a pile of bees in this thing. Trying to move them a little bit at a time. It's just getting me wore out because they are not liking this weather and they're not liking me. Not liking the fact that I'm in here. Can't quit now though. We're in the middle of it. Yeah, I'm gonna take this first one off, going back that way. The one that looks like a block of pollen. <laughs> It must be the back end of that brood coming up. Yeah, I'm going to take that off and work back towards the outside now. Now that I can see what I'm doing.
No. Working them out of here. They're running into the next space. We're going to, have to pull this insulation down to get to them. Check that for the queen before you go anywhere. You ready to go back in? No, but we're going to. <laughs> We've been getting beat up. They decided they didn't want us around. Yeah. I think this weather set them off. So I got a good group there, 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 and I'm back here. We also got them taken to the box too. We got a bunch of what do we frame up? Uh, four frames. Four frames of brood. Pretty good bit of honey that we took out. Uh, we don't frame up honey. They'll be feeding these bees. We're, we're just going into a dearth out here. So they're gonna have to feed. And we're gonna continue to work them, get them to that box, and set them up for the night. It's gonna be after sunset, which is not far from that now. Here. 10 o'clock we just got done getting our butts handed to us how many things you take <laughs> Ooh, too many <laughs> a lot this weather rolled in those bees turned mean and we got the whole job done and at the very end of it we had bees clustering everywhere and we couldn't get them good the box without just having them wear out our arms and necks so <laughs> Yeah. We took our vac and picked up about another three pounds of bees in the vac, but we already had the box set up where it was going to be, where it was going to be sitting on the property because they're keeping the bees. We're packing up, getting ready to leave, and then we realize we got bees in the box. So we've got to <laughs> add those to a box we already have closed up and and have, have them blocked in for a couple of days. And there, there we went again with another <laughs> that's when i got to hear a sting yeah mm. <laughs> another 10 stings a piece plus one in the ear but we got them all set up they're on the brood they're on four frames of brood yep. and a bunch of blank foundations the the homeowner's gonna open it up i left the filter material blocking the entrance i yep. said so this is a rip cord in two days pull it and run <laughs> And I'll go back and help them do an inspection and make sure everything's good. Make sure the queen's in there doing good. Make sure the bees stay. And up. for the time being, we're going to hit up Whataburger. 
Hobby beekeeping, it's a way of life. <laughs>